Okay, everyone, welcome back. Another awesome episode of CBTV. Woo! So happy to see you guys. I'm so happy to have our channel to talk the real behind the scenes, the real stories of Kirby Beach, give you guys what you want, answer those questions. But I know what is really on the brain, what's burning in the mind. What's that? How was the Miami trip? Yes. We're going to Miami. Yes, on Friday. Oh, I can't wait. Pro, Pro, what are your feelings on Miami prior to Kirby Beach and Elizabeth Taylor? Let's start with that. Uh, Miami Vice. Mm. I knew that television mm -hmm. show. Don Johnson. Ooh. No socks. Ooh. Ooh. Blatantly no socks. Well, all white. All white all the time. There was one girl at boarding school who oh. came from Miami and had a shirt that said dolphins on it. And sports team. I didn't Emily? know. I had no sports. idea what sports. Football. Oh. oh. And I always thought it was swimming because it was dolphins. Well, that makes sense. And I thought, God, she loves to swim. How what? How, how was the Miami trip, you guys? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying it was not the Miami trip I expected. And as a city that I look up to, I admire, oh, you know, into the Miami Vice shot, like, I guess I thought I could do no wrong. And as my mother told me, see, Miami can sometimes do you wrong, which hurt me emotionally, but I admit it, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. Absolutely, and so that's a real relationship right there. It, it was, and I thought if you lived here, when you live here, there may be times that it rains for eight days straight. So Megan has been with me on my trips to Miami over the years yeah. where I was a timid little fat kini wearer. You were. But then I got bolder and bolder and bolder until one year I said, MF, I've got my own damn samples. And next year, G-string. We don't even know. She's gonna push it to the limit. Which is a song from uh, Scarface yeah. set in Miami Beach. So we are going, ladies, we're going um, this Friday. Uh, we're going for a solid week. I may be going for 10 days. I might never come back. Wow. Okay. We are gonna do photo shoots down there. We are shooting the new colors. Ooh, which I That's saw at exciting. the factory yesterday. Do they look beautiful? Oh, that looks okay. She cries over fabric. Uh, I had to buy more yardage today. She cries, they bring her to tears. The factory owner said, Elizabeth, you need more yardage. These are gonna sell out. So I went and got more yardage today for you, babes. Mm -hmm. um, but more than anything, it's my happy place, the place where I'm going to be hopefully living. Chess. Um, so look for us in Miami Beach, and we oh, might yeah. do a little informal meetup down there with all of our Miami babes, because why not, guys? That would be so fun. I also find Miami very inspiring due to the mm. colors. Yep. The food, the Latin men, I'm saying it. They're gorgeous. I'm just saying it. One time we had uh, lunch oh, at, tell it, tell at it. Latin Cafe. Tell it. 2000, 3000? Latin Cafe 2000. Latin Cafe Woo! 2000 for those A in working the know. class man's restaurant. Delicious Cuban food. Oh, so nice. And guess who pulled up? An entire squad of firefighters <sighs> from the fire truck <sighs> in order to eat their arepa. And what, what else were they eating? Cortaditos. All yes. I know is it was about 20 Cuban firemen. Oh, I mean, it was. My God. I still use that fantasy. Let's just say that, guys. I was fed in my body and my soul. And my soul. Everything was fed. And I made our friend Lolo, shout out Lolo Sweat Records, Lolo. female owned business. I may or may not have used her like fake pictures to take portraits of all of the Miami fire, uh, firemen behind her. I pretended like I was taking pictures of graffiti. I may have started a fire just so they could pay attention to me. Wow. In Fuego. They were gorgeous. We even shot them pulling off. Yeah. Yeah, we under did. the streets, guys. So that's just a sampling of what Miami Beach gives to you when you're just at a little uh, 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 guava pastry place. I mean, miracles can happen. Just, let's just start at the beginning, guys. Let's start at the beginning. I make my flight. I feel amazing. I land. Ba -ba -da -ba. I go to the grocery store, you guys. I'm like, I'm going to stock up. Kirby Beach Meg is arriving. I get things that we love. Prosecco, brie, uh, coffee. That's about it. The staples. Sometimes the brie goes with bread, but mostly it's just brie, prosecco, and then do we have coffee in the morning? So those things were taken care of. Okay, maybe some hummus, hummus. Random things, okay. And some flowers. I was so domestic, I was like, I'm gonna have flowers for her. Okay, so I'm, you know, moseying around the apartment. Now, right out the gate, the apartment is very loud. Like, when the Airbnb person let me in, I was like, whoa! Like, it sounded like flying down the road, and I immediately was like, oh, like, I can't sleep here, because if, you know, we really go there, I have a hard time sleeping, and New York City is a very loud place. So I was a little disappointed out the gate, but I was like, it's fine. Drink the Prosecco, drink the Prosecco. Megan's gonna be here, it's gonna be great. Louis the 14th. Oh, Louis the 14th. In France. 
Uh -huh, his yeah. favorite mistress? His favorite mistress had uh, breasts that were exactly the same size as a champagne cup, and you could put it right here, and the nipple goes in the edge, and look, I mean, look, look at the match, it's a dead match. <laughs> A dead if if Louis the Fourteenth's mistress was champagne with this, I'm a Bierstein. What I'm German? I, can't. I need a big glass. <laughs> this is not working. There you go. It's like four-ish, five, and I knew Megan's flight was around five. And I'm texting her, Prosecco, Brie, like, ah, I can't wait if my girl's gonna get here. And again, you guys remember, the flight from New York is only two hours. So it's so like, oh, you're so excited because you really get there quick, right? As opposed to the flight to LA, right, Emily? Yes. Oh, six hours late. Yeah. So I knew with my Megan, when I don't hear from her for a couple hours, because usually she's like me, we're obsessively checking in with each other, memes, gifts, you know, funny, ah, I knew by the time it was 4.40 and I was laying down on the bed with my Prosecco and Brie and I thought, something's up in the air. The force, the force, Emily, the force. something is wrong. Megan is not on this flight. So I texted her, pro, it's 4.45 and I've got a feeling in my bones. Something is wrong with the flight. Megan gave herself an hour and a half, maybe an hour and a half to get to the airport on Friday rush hour traffic. No, she didn't. She did, girl. <laughs> Bro, her flight was it? Let's just say she, her mother is not Susan Taylor, because who's? I guess she's only mine, right? And my sisters, we obsessively leave early to the flight to the to planes. Well, you're from LA too, and like LAX or like you have, there you is know, it's, you have to. so much can happen. Yeah. So uh, Megan did not give herself enough time. She didn't realize it was Friday at rush hour. Cause why? Who cares? Um, she was sitting on the exit of LaGuardia as her flight was taking off. She considered getting out and running alongside the traffic, which I have seen. Long story short, she missed her flight. Okay, so I'm like breeing and proseccoing it. Okay, then she tells me, oh, pro, I'm at the front desk. I'm talking to them. I'm like, okay, because you know, okay. Uh, she is put on the next flight, which guess when that leaves? 7 a.m. the next morning. Oh. So we're down one day. Cut to the next day. She goes, you'll never believe this. I go, what? She goes, we've landed in Atlanta. I go, what do you mean? She goes, there were thunderstorms and we've had to land in Atlanta. So Megan arrives at about three in the afternoon on Saturday. We've just lost 24 hours. It's no big deal. Hey okay, guys, we're at an exciting moment in the day. This top is not for sale. Hello. <laughs> Megan, can you just tell us straight about your morning? I'd like to tell everyone. Just tell us. I got my period in, wow. Really wow. aggressive. <laughs> oh form last night as um, the CEO had hers and we synced up oh, hormonally, wow. it's sharing a lot. Lots of pain. Um, so this morning has been brought to you by <laughs> yes, tell us. the tool of all models. I want a sponsorship. Ibuprofen mm, mm, for mm, when mm. you are not feeling quite like yourself. And yeah. also it's been brought to you by Compact. Oh wow. Pocket Pearl the Super pearls. Plus. The pearls were my favorite. I'm this putting on eyeliner. Well, yeah, look at and, how beautiful Megan and I'm is. Putting, I'm, I'm just not, you guys, I'm natural. You guys know Megan used to be a print, I, I want a did. size 18 with sparkling eyes and a soft chin. I did. Oh. I did. And I as did. Asia says, we got her out. Oh, wait, but let's really focus on. Focus on oh, what's really important. Oh, my God. That's what we do. We sit in. And we just creep on men. Parking lots and look at men. Last look night, you guys. You oh. would not believe what we saw last pro, night, you guys. Pro, pro. We saw this doctor at Latin Cafe 2000. Oh my God. I made a story about him. But let's focus on him. He's yes. A neurosurgeon. He was, that man is glistening. Oh. He was a oh. neurosurgeon. He was a, he was saving lives. Yes. And we saw him at Latin Cafe 2000 and we were both talking. We stopped talking and we turned <laughs> our chairs around. We were hum We were humbled and shook. He wanted a quarto dito in between saving uh, conjoined twins. That's he was so. separating them. He was so beautiful. When I rolled up to Latin Cafe 2000, there were three policemen. And then a detective came in with a oh badge. Oh my God, with badges, guys, with and badges. And now we know how we're, I'm gonna find husband number two. Yeah, well he's right here at the park. He's right there. We had a little bit of sun the first day and the rain started the next day, you guys. And when I say rain, not tropical, ooh, it's hot, ooh, a little storm, ooh, I feel cool now, oh, it's so clear, the sunset. I'm talking a sheet of rain from about 8 a.m. to midnight. We're trying to find Gianluca. <gasps> Bro, we have to find oh. Bobo. So, the, okay, just can we, Emily? Can we? Can, can, we? 
can we? Emily's okay. not acknowledging us anymore. I am. So there are these Italian people on Instagram. You guys, do you guys know Gianluca Bacci? Do you know him? Split cut to Gianluca you Bacci. You need to know him. He's a character. He's like a dandy. He was famous last year. He's older yes. and I know. Him. Emily exactly. knows Gianluca. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Gianluca, I guess they had a falling out. He has a bestie. Named Bobo. He had a bestie. Now it's, I know.